Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, for today's episode, so we went shopping last week and we went to Ferragamo. So what I'm going to share to you guys would be a little bit snippets of our shopping at our time at Ferragamo store. And I will be sharing to you guys my first impression, a mini review because I am actually checking online for reviews for the current collection or the new bags of Ferragamo unfortunately there are very very few so that I would like to share to you guys what I felt about these bags when I was trying them on. I would also give you my first impression and mini review and what I feel about these bags and if I could also at the prices I'm going to put it here. Also guys I will be linking everything on the description box below so if you want anything here then you could shop with me. So I'm inviting you to please watch until the end of our episode. Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetar and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about lace, about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, also in unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-going fan. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Premier 52 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. The very first Ferragamo bag that I've tried on is this very beautiful, iconic top handle bag. So everyone knows this one also as the Gancini top handle, but on their website right now, the it is called officially as the iconic top handle. So currently at the Ferragamo store, they have two colors. So the very first one is this very beautiful powder blue smooth leather box calf leather with silver hardware and the size of this one this is the mini size and if i'm not mistaken the price of this one is 175,000 philippine pesos if i could also remember correctly i have checked this on the u.s website ferragamo.com the price is around 3,000 usd so comparable to the philippine pesos our prices are a little bit more higher compared to the u.s prices so this one guys what are my first impression when i first saw this bag so of course we were just passing through ferragamo and honestly i didn't have any intention to check this one out but of course since this is one of the up and coming and like the new trending bags from ferragamo i also wanted to add this to my collection what i wanted of course is the biggest size that they have i believe romina rose may has that one as well so currently on our store we have the mini size so when i tried this one it looks very beautiful not really a huge fan of the silver hardware you know me guys i love my gold hardware leather of course it's box calf leather then definitely this is a high maintenance leather so if you're going to purchase this one you would need to really take good care of your bag because of course it's very prone to scratches so you just have to take note of the leather finish so another pro of this bag of course it comes with the top handle so as you are going to see here on the video with the top handle it's the Gancini logo of Ferragamo and you could easily slip through and put it on the crook of your arm then it comes also with a fully detachable shoulder strap so I believe the shoulder strap I wasn't able to check if it's fully adjustable. Could definitely wear it as a crossbody and as a shoulder strap. Another pro of this one, so I've asked the CA what is the material of the hardware. So they said that if the color of the hardware for Ferragamo is gold, then it is gold plated. So that is a check. And if it's silver, then it's silver plated, which is very, very good. So uh, I love, the, of course, the closure of this one. It looks very beautiful. But now here comes the cons, guys. So with this type of style, Gancini closure of this bag is both a pro and a con. Con of this one, guys, the major con of this would be closing the bag. With opening, you don't have any issue. It's very easy, but closing this style of bag because of course, if you are going to pop the Ganshini top handle like this, so this is like the male part, then you have to insert it on the female part. It's very difficult. And the Ganshini top handle, this part here, the male part, it's very thick. It's like you don't have enough allowance on the female part to insert. So definitely guys, if you are someone like me who would want to take care, even the hardware, then ugh, you know that this would have so many scratches on it then of course and um, when you are closing guys because the flap when you open then you're going to close you need to like 
pop the Gancini handle something like this, then close it. Like, for example, this one, because you need to lift it up a little bit. And I've asked the CA if you could lift it up fully, like put it up or down. She said you could just put it down, then a little bit on upwards, but you could not like lift the logo like this 45 degrees because that may damage the handle so another con of this bag is the size so of course this is a mini size i tried my iphone 6s plus you cannot put it we tried it you can insert it diagonally but i feel because on the side of this bag it's an accordion style so it eats up a little bit of space on inside so it may damage the shape and structure of the bag so i would not recommend so if you are someone who is looking for you know making this an everyday bag i would not recommend the mini size i would say upgrade to a much bigger size right, the next one would be still the iconic top handle and this one comes in the red orange graded color box calf leather and it comes also with the silver hardware so again it would be the same pros and con with the powder blue bag so one of the con of this one it's super expensive guys so when i've asked the price if i'm could remember it correctly it's around 200,000 Philippine pesos so I wasn't able to check this yet on the Ferragamo website but OMG almost 4,000 USD for this one or 200k so pro of this one again the color I love the gradient color I believe this is also the same color on the runway so another pro of this bag that I wasn't able to share earlier uh, at the bottom of this bag it comes with four feet so we know guys we love the feet on our bag because it would keep them more beautiful and we are not going to damage the bottom part of the bag uh, to be honest guys with this price it's a little bit expensive for my taste as beautiful as it is I would also be very wary of the leather because if it's expensive then definitely I would want to wear the hell out of this bag so I was asking if it would come with a green leather or something like a caviar leather that I would not be worried with scratches or anything unfortunately for this season they cannot get guarantee that uh, it prefer gum is going to produce with a hard wearing leather so uh, my recommendation for this style of bag guys definitely check out the pre-love market and the vintage market because you could definitely get this style for a very very fraction of a price if i could find one guys i'm going to link it on the description box below i've seen one that would go around only for 25 to 30,000 Philippine pesos. What do you think of the iconic top handle? Kindly comment down below. Now let's move on to the next bag. All right, so another beautiful Ferragamo bag. In my prediction, this would be a huge hit. This 2023 would be Ferragamo Wanda bag. So this is named after the wife of Sir Ferragamo. I'm not really sure what's the name, full name of Ferragamo. Uh, Salvatore Ferragamo there. Super love this one. So again, this is a very cute, very different kind of bag. So this is one of their archival designs. You could purchase this one actually from the pre-love market or in the vintage market later I'm going to share more so this one the one that I've tried I actually asked the CA if we could measure it at the bottom part of the bag it measures 35 centimeters in length although because this one this is very thin the depth is not that thick so definitely you need to be a little bit careful of what the things that you need to bring but when I have checked this out compared to the mini iconic top handle we discussed earlier definitely you could fit a lot more with the one the top handle bag so as you are going to see it's very beautiful so that's one of the proof that one this is very unique the material is also the box calf leather powdery blue finish it has a silver hardware so you're going to see on both sides it has suganchini iconic logos wherein you're going to like pull it up to open and close this bag it also comes with a strap so you could wear it as a crossbody and as a shoulder bag the price of this one guys are you ready it is 200,000 Philippine pesos I'm going to put the exact price here so I wasn't I haven't checked the US website yet but here in the Philippines that is the current price of this bag so now let us discuss the cons of this bag so firstly guys of course the leather if i could choose a different leather a more hard wearing leather like a full grain leather bag 
calfskin leather, then definitely I would go for that one. But since this is a smooth box calf leather, so again, you need to be a little bit careful when carrying this bag. Another con of this one would be, of course, would be the price. I was a little bit surprised that the price of this one is going way more expensive than the Iconic Top Handle because I was imagining that one of their core bags would be the Iconic Top Handle versus the Wanda bag. So apparently, the Wanda bag also would be super expensive, even more expensive. Maybe it's because this one is a little bit bigger compared to the Mini Top Handle. So I'm not really sure, guys, if this is a pro and con because honestly, Honestly, when I have tried this one, when I have checked the what I could put inside, I feel definitely I could carry this on an everyday basis. I feel that it could carry my phone, my power bank, my cord, my sh my trifecta, guys. My toiletry kit, it would fit in here. So for me, that is a pro. But if, for example, if you are carrying more than me, then that may be a con for you. Aside from that, I want to be honest, guys, this is a very beautiful bag. If, for example, you could get it on a pre market, then do it because, again, it's very expensive, the brand new ones. I have seen on the vintage market, guys, I was supposed to get one, to be honest, but I missed out on that one. And it is a navy blue Wanda bag. It's a vintage version, and it's a green calfskin, but oh my god. I could kick myself for not buying that bag because definitely the one the bag is a very beautiful addition to your collection. And the last Ferragamo bag that I wanted to share is this very beautiful studio bag. Wow, guys. So definitely when I saw this one on display, I've asked the CA that if I could kindly try it on because OMG, so of course, you know, one look at it, you would instantly know that it's a look alike of the Hermes Birkin bag. Don't you agree, guys? So this one, guys, so, so beautiful. The price of this one, if I'm not mistaken, is around 225 to 250k. I'm just going to put the price here for the more accurate pricing. So the beauty of this one, guys, you're going to see, I love the very unique design. We are going to see that it comes with the leather strip of the Ganshini logo. I love also the closure. I couldn't remember how I was able to work on the closure, but of course, the closure is very unique. It's very Ferragamo. I don't think any other luxury brand has this kind of closure. It comes with two top handles, just like the classic Hermes Birkin. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this bag comes with a strap so that you could carry this one as a shoulder bag and crossbody because looking at the video I could see that there are links wherein you could attach the shoulder strap so this one is made of 100% genuine leather it looks really luxurious so in my recommendation if for example you feel that of course Hermes is not within our reach just like myself I feel that bag is super expensive but you want to have a look of an Hermes Birkin then definitely you may want to check out the Ferragamo studio bag I'm not really sure if these kinds of style, uh, you could see this at Ferragamo Outlet. So guys, if if you have this bag, if you've seen this bag maybe on Outlet Store, because definitely an outlet of Ferragamo, we could get this on discount, then that would be good news. And of course, if you have any recommendation for this bag, please do comment down below. There, did you enjoy our episode for today? So hopefully I was able to share a little bit information about this new and up and coming that I feel would be trending back from Ferragamo. So guys, if you have any of these bags, I would love to hear from you. Let us know. Comment down below so that our fam here could know whether these bags are good purchases or not or if you have any recommendation among the selection that we have discussed for today. So guys, before we end our episode, I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here, so please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and silent tips coming from me. A million thank you for staying with me in today's episode. I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please stay safe. I'm going to see each and every one of you soon. Bye!